sorry, Capricorn, my phone cut off. <laughs> I've had to like restart so many videos today. I don't know what it is. I got the powers that be are trying to block these messages, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna try to get back to where I was. <sighs> Anytime this person starts to feel vulnerable, this person starts to feel a real connection towards you, they would run, they would start a fight with you. They, uh, this person does not feel comfortable around love. They have abandonment wounds. They're afraid of being vulnerable. They're afraid of getting attached to somebody. They're afraid of being hurt. So it's like they would rather hurt you first. This person is very, very sensitive too. And I get that anytime they feel any sort of slight from you, they kind of do something to intentionally hurt you. They do. So, you know, they would go and entertain other people and rub it in your face. They would, they went and got into another relationship just to try to make you jealous, which, you know, is shitty because one, that is hurting you, a person that they genuinely care about. And two, that's hurting a lot of other people that really didn't deserve that. You know, that's not fair to use another person without their knowledge to make somebody else jealous. This person knew they wanted to be with you, but it's like they could not. They um, have control issues where they wanted to control everything. You made the decision here, uh, the sun card. You made the decision to cut this person off for your own happiness. This person was hurting you. Yeah, you have a, a love connection here. Yes, you have a strong spiritual soul connection here. But this person um, is, hurts you a lot. Um, the chariot could be a cancer. Cancer, Sag, Aquarius, um, Aries, Libra, Taurus. <sighs> you made the decision here, Capricorn, to cut this person off and to move forward and to focus on your dreams. They're wanting to communicate. Let's see. What else do we need to know about this situation? This person wants something long-term with you. They see you as uh, their wish, their wish fulfillment. They want to marry you. <laughs> They see you as your wife, as their wife, the one that they're going to marry. Um, but they're defensive towards you and they don't know how to fix a situation. They don't want to give up on it though. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, they're still showing up as a um, lower energy here. They're a knight to your queen. So they're immature. They're still, um, again, not moving things forward. It's This person is stuck. This person is stuck in their life. And Capricorn, I know um, it's hard when you care about somebody, but you know, if they're stuck and they don't know what to do and they don't know what they want and they're not the person that they wanna be, that's not your burden to bear. And I'm sure that you have recognized that because you walked away from this person to find your own success, that you can't find your success trying to fix somebody else's mess. This person is stuck in their head and doesn't know how to move forward. Yeah, this is like a, a twin flame or soulmate. They want union, but they know that they need to work on themselves. They know that they need to work on getting their shit together here and being able to be on their own, not constantly needing somebody in their bed to feel good about themselves. This person is like, needs somebody to have sex with, needs somebody to rely on. This person is not comfortable being alone at all. This person has a lot of, of mental health issues that they need to deal with. This person is terrified of being vulnerable. This person is terrified of experiencing real love, but they're also terrified of being alone. It's like they, they have some sort of like PTSD. They have some sort of like mental health issues that they really need to work out in order to be a like person that can stand on their own. This person needs to learn how to stand on their own before you can come into union. Because if they can't stand on their own, they're going to be leaning on you. And it's like any time that you don't do what this person feels like you need to do for them, 
Anytime you put yourself over this person, they take it as a personal slight and their way of handling that is to go uh, do something to intentionally hurt you, which has been to like have sex with other people. <sighs> this person does love you. This person feels sorry for what they've done. They want to move back towards you. They see you as, you know, their person. They want to make an offer. And they feel lonely and depressed without you. They feel burdened because you're resisting them. They feel burdened and rejected by you because you're resisting them. And they feel like a lot of people want you. They feel like they have competition now. And you've walked away from them to focus on yourself and to manifest what you want into your life because this person was trying to build with a third party here. Hung up with another third party. Yeah. They had a karmic involved here, a karmic that kept them from moving forward with you and that was uh, toxic. Karmic doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It can be like a, a karmic family member. There's um, a feminine energy in their life that is uh, verbally abusive, that hurts this person, that keeps this person from moving forward. I get that they have fam, it's a family. It's like somebody that they, they is, there's a complicated situation. You know, it, it, they have children together. This is like a, a mother, a sister. It's somebody that like, they have some sort of like strong attachment to that um, hurts this person a lot and somehow tries to block this relationship so this this karmic individual does not want this person to be with you, causes shit for this person. Um, but also they have a lot of inner stuff they need to work through. So I do get that they love you, they wanna be with you, they wanna marry you, but are they prepared to actually be a good partner to you? No. Has this person grown? Has Have they changed? Are they going to come in and actually make movement? No. There's still a nine of pentacles, a knight of pentacles. So the they weren't moving the relationship forward. They were stalling. They weren't making any offers. It's going to be the exact same thing. They're just wanting to come in right now because they're terrified of somebody else sweeping, like swooping you up. But you know, that's what happens when... You are running around looking for bedmates instead of trying to figure out what is going on within you. You know, when your priority is how many people can I fuck while me and this person are broken up so I can hurt them as much as possible. What have you gained from that besides an STD, you know? <sighs> I don't know, Cap. That's your reading for this week. I hope you guys have a really great weekend. Um, continue to choose you. Continue to go on your path. You have a lot of abundance and blessings coming towards you. This is the type of situation where this person is going to get their shit together or they're not. But that's not your burden to bear. And if they don't get their shit together, you're going to attract somebody better for you. So, you know, if it's a twin flame, if it's a soulmate, the absolute worst thing you can do is put your life on hold for another person. Especially if it's a twin flame because that blocks union. The best way to get to union is to not care about union and focus on yourself because the twin flame journey is not a journey of a relationship. It's a journey of finding yourself and coming home to yourself and falling in love with yourself. Your twin flame is just your physical manifestation of your shadow, basically. It's your mirror soul. It is you, but all the parts of you that you run from. I will see you guys next week. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Bye.